good morning children so the last class we are studying about the magnetic field in a circular coil today we will learn about the magnetic field due to a solar light how the magnetic lines are produced in a solar light understood so that we will study then after that we are going to study about the motor principle of uh, motor and working of motor So how the magnetic field, magnetic lines are produced in a solar light. So before we get what is solar light, we should understand. So solar light is nothing but a, a coiled, a, a straight wire, straight insulated copper wire. If it is coiled like this. Copper wire, which is coiled with a number of turns, with a number of turns, like a spring, like a spring. You know, spring, you know, how it will be. So it will be coiled like this. So a copper wire, which is coiled with a number of turns, with a number of turns, that is called as solar night. It's called as solar night. So you may be seen, springs are springs you have seen, which is present in the pens and all. So, the spring, so a wire which is coiled with a number of turnings, with a number of turnings, which looks like a hollow tube. So, so, such a way it is coiled that if you take a, a wire and if you coil it, it will be very, uh, it will very, means the arrangements are, the coil, number of turnings are more and that uh, Turnings will be very close to each other, close to each other. Then this is called as solenoid. This is called as solenoid. Solenoid is nothing but uh, so the copper wire which is having a more number of a coil with a more number of turnings, more number of turnings. That is called as solenoid. How the actually the magnetic field is produced in a solenoid? See, when the solenoid end of the wire, a single wire only it is, a single wire only, single wire only, the end is connected to a, a battery or a cell, battery or a cell. So when you switch on it or when you connect to the battery, the current flowing starts So it turns like this, see, it goes like this. Is it clear? So solenoid is nothing but a, a coil of number of turnings. Number of turnings, which looks like a hollow tube, hollow tube. So that is called as solenoid, it's called as solenoid. So how the magnetic field is produced in a solenoid? So you know the direction of the magnetic field is Known by Maxwell's right hand grip rule. Right hand grip rule. See here. See here. So this, this represents the 
Some represent the direction of the current, and all the other fields represent the direction of the magnetic field. Now, if you apply this here for this, you can see here this wire. So this arrow mark indicates the direction of the current. And if you apply over here, see it, it is moving towards the board and coming out. So I will separate this here. This this curve, this uh, uh, turning is there now. That I will do it here. So then think that current is flowing like this. So you apply. You apply the rule. The current is moving. Uh, the magnetic fields are moving like this and coming out like this. So it is moving inside so here. The fingers. So fingers are moving inside, coming out. It means they are moving inside. They are moving inside. So you apply here. See here. So apply here. This is this tells about the direction of the current and other fingers. So they are also moving from here and coming out like this. Means they are entering inside. They are entering inside. If you apply here, see here. So the arrow mark, they are also entering inside. If you apply here, see towards the board, these fingers are going towards the board here. They are entering, they are coming from this side now. So already you now, so magnetic lines emerge from the north and merge in the south. So they emerge. See, all are emerging. So all are entering here. Like you imagine, this is a board, and this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, coil. Uh, you think this this wire is here now? This wire, this wire is here in the hand here. Uh, I will apply like this. Mm. Will apply like this here. So this. The, this is this from the magnetic field. Magnetic field is going inside, inside this ring and coming out. So emerging. So now this side. So it is entering like this. It is entering like this. See here. So this becomes all, this becomes north. So north, they are emerging from the north, entering to the south. Here, if you see this uh, ring, see, this is. Uh, this is the one ring. This is the one ring like this. See, one ring, one ring, two ring. So such type of rings will be many. In a solar lens, the such type of rings will be many. All the magnetic field, field will enter like this here. So if you apply the rule, if you apply the rule for this, here, this tells of the direction of the current, the magnetic field lies entering the ring like this. So if you apply, see, I'll be like this here. This is the ring, eh? so flying like this. See, they are entering. So if you see like this, understood. So this is this is the one uh, one term. One term if you see that they are going like this inside and coming out from the north, from coming from the north. So all the magnetic lines always remember that they emerge from the North and merge in the south, merge in the south, if you tell. See here, here if you apply, you imagine, if you imagine it will be easy. So this is the hollow tube, hollow tube, I'm telling you, see, number of coils, they are closely arranged and it becomes a hollow tube. So if you apply that here, it is entering the board and coming out, entering the hollow tube, hollow tube of this solenoid, hollow tube of this solenoid they are entering. Understood. So, like this, they are entering. Hmm? All such rings, see, now, there are more number of turns in a solenoid. Solenoid is nothing but a copper wire which is having a number of turns, number of coils. That is called a solenoid. So, when solenoid is prepared, it becomes a hollow tube like structure. So, see, all the magnetic lines appears to enter, enter in a hollow tube like this. So, so this becomes a, so this act as a, the magnetic field lines are produced such a way that it looks like a 
मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन बार मैग्नेट बार मैग्नेट बार मैग्नेट बार मैग्नेट हाउ द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइन्स लुक सिमिलरली इट इट लुक्स सिमिलरली इट लुक्स सिमिलरली इट लुक्स ओके ओके ब्रो so it looks like a means the magnetic field lines produced in a solenoid looks like a bar magnet how the bar magnet in the bar magnet how it is produced so this is a bar magnet so from the north there are this and matches in the south see it like this So, so the solenoid in the solenoid the magnetic field is resembles the resembles the magnetic field of the bar magnet. Means solenoid acts as a bar magnet only. But what the difference is that here actually uh, see in the in the poles it is uh, the magnetic lines are crowded. But in case of here it is not so crowded, not so crowded because it spreads out. It is spreads out. That's why. The magnetic field lines look to has a bar magnet only. Bar magnet only. Understood? This is how the magnetic field is produced in a solenoid. In a solenoid. Understood? I told you. You have to imagine like it is a hollow, hollow, hollow tube where where it is entering. Where the they apply this rule. They are entering inside the hollow tube. Inside the hollow tube. Here also. If you see here, here, see this is arrow mark. Then arrow mark is coming here. This is one of the turn, one of the turn. If you apply this, so they are entering from outside. They are entering inside. See, if you apply, the current is flowing downwards. So according to the Maxwell uh, right hand left rule, so this tells about the thumb tells about the direction of the current. Direction of the current is downwards. And see, they are see the magnetic fields are coming from the board. You think they are bored? Coming from the board, entering to the hollow tube. Hollow tube. They are moving like this. Understood? This is how the magnetic field is created in a solenoid. Go through the textbook. Go through the textbook. So this is the this is this tells about bar magnet. So here they have given about the solenoid. See, this is the magnetic field in a solenoid. In a solenoid, this uh, page number one twenty three. So uh, trigger number thirteen point one zero. See, see, you can see here the magnetic field produced in a solenoid. It looks like a bar magnet only. This uh, solenoid acts as a bar magnet. So look like a bar magnet only. Understood? This is how it is produced. Actually, the solenoid is used. Uh, In the preparation of electromagnets, electromagnets. Electromagnets. So electromagnets are the uh, are the artificial magnet which are prepared by electricity, which are prepared by electricity. Understood? So here, a simple method. You have to take a, you have to take a iron rod, iron rod. For this, we have to coil a, we have to coil a copper wire. Here, so this is this is the rod inside. Then this is the coil. This is coil. So this coil acts as a solar line. It acts as a solar line. So when electricity is passed through this, passed through this, passed through this, what happens? So when it is when it is when the electric current is passing through this wire. Which is wounded, which is wounded on this uh, uh, iron rod. 
So here the magnetic field is created. What type of magnetic follow that type of magnetic field is created? When so when magnetic magnetic field is created, this is a iron rod which is a which is here act as a magnet, act as a magnet, acts as a magnet, and it will attract the uh, iron or magnetic substance, magnetic substances. This is called electromagnets. These electromagnets are used in creating electromagnet magnetic cranes. So in the port, in the port uh, large ships will be there to unload the materials, unload the uh, loads or uh, luggages. This uh, cranes are used. That cranes will have electromagnet where uh, the luggages from the, the large ship is brought to the port or when they upload a uploading. When the load, when uh, we want to send the materials uh, uh, to some other country by sea route, the ship they have to keep all the luggages. No, the, during that time actually it is large containers will be there, iron containers. On that all the loads, whatever the materials are put and they are uploaded to the ship, large ships. During that time it is used. Understood? So you know about maglev trains, magnetic trains are there. Super the super speed trains. That also works on the magnetic tracks actually. So in that cases, these electromagnets are used. These electromagnets are here, are produced by using solenoid. By using solenoid. This is about the electromagnet. Electromagnet. So go through that. See, usually the strength of the magnet, strength of the magnets. Sir, Depends on the source of magnitude. Magnitude of electric current. Electric current. The strength of the magnetic field. Strength of the magnetic field depends on the magnet magnitude of electric current. Magnitude in the sense quantity. Quantity of electric current. Quantity of electric current. And also, it, it, it depends on the number of turnings, number of turnings. This is a coil. How many number of turnings are there? That depends on the, the magnet, powerful of the power of the magnet. The strength of the magnet depends on the number of turnings of the coil. How much number of turnings are there? On that, it depends. And also depends on the how much current you are giving to a solar net. On that basis, the strength of the electromagnetic magnet depends actually. Understood? So this is about the magnetic field due to the current in a solar net. Current in a solar net. Go through that. It's given in your textbook. If you don't understand anything or any any uh, new word you have come across in the textbook, please contact me. Okay. So next concept will move to the how how the motor works how the electric motor works so what I mean is what. It is a device, it is a device which converts electric energy into mechanical energy, mechanical energy. So where it is used? The motors, so example, they are used in fan. Vehicle, vehicle uh, vehicles, engine is attached to the motor, uh, grinder if you take, then usually the motor is used. Motor is a device, what device it is? It converts the electric energy into mechanical energy. You will have, in your room, if there is a fan, you switch on the switch. On the switch. So, fan will st start rotating. That means electricity is converting into mechanical energy. Rotation is a mechanical energy. The 
the plates of the fans are moving because why they are moving because the electric current electric current what is inside the motor uh, sorry inside the fan there is a motor which works by electricity so how it works we are going to see so motor you understood what is the motor it converts the electric energy into mechanical energy so how it works how it works that we are going to learn understood how it works what are the principle involved what is the principle involved that we are going to study what is the principle involved what is the rule that we are going to study so first we will study how, what is the principle what is the principle principle of working of motor how the electric motor works what principle it works so whenever a current carrying conductor whenever a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field so whenever a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field it creates a force it creates a force uh, it may be attractive force or repulsive force so right on that whenever a current carrying conductor current carrying conductor is placed is placed in magnetic field magnetic field it experiences a experiences a attractive or a repulsive force repulsive force repulsive force on this principle actually it works whenever a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field current carrying conductor will place it in a magnetic field it experiences a force you know that when uh, two magnetic uh, fields are brought near what happens it will repel or it will attract something will happen like say if you bring two magnets bar magnets close together north and south what happens they repel they repel repel there is a force repelling repel means what is a force when i brought it it is force understood similarly when i brought it two magnets over here um, and they are uh, uh, having uh, different poles different poles different poles of magnet it brought it here what they they were attract they attract this is attraction is also force no attract so they repel or attract that only similarly when a current carrying conductor means current carrying conductor also produces a magnetic field you know so according to the oyster hans christian oyster he told that current carrying uh, when a electricity is flowing in a conductor produces a magnetic field so so when our current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field you are a current carrying conductor also is the magnet is having a magnetic field so we are keeping that magnetic field in another magnetic field there is a repulsive or attractive force that force is called as is, is involved in a motor that is the principle of working of motor working of motor we will see that there is a uh, on a demonstration to the from that demonstration you can understand it very easily page number the so page number 124 124 so for this experiment we need a stand we need a clamp yes sir so we need a a bar uh, horseshoe magnet horseshoe magnet with a north and south we can see this picture they have given here so this picture i am talking about this is a horseshoe magnet north 
and servers. So then we have to take the battery. This is positive, this is negative. The positive, this is negative. So the wire is one wire is connected to the positive and taken and it is going there. It is just uh, taken to the stand. Here it is filed and it is taken. It is taken like this. Then one more from the negative end of the battery also there is one more wire taken to the stand for the support. Then here, so this both the end of the wire is connected to the a rod, a metal rod, metallic rod. This also acts as a conductor. So stand, horseshoe magnet. Horseshoe magnet, this is a battery. This is a table conductor, current carrying conductor. So, one electron is a current carrying conductor, current carrying conductor. These two are current carrying conductor. And this is the metallic rod. Metallic rod, see here, this picture. Here it is, like this. You can see this picture. There is a switch and all, switch a battery and all is connected. So what happens when you switch on? So when you see here there is a what there is a magnet over here. What the what magnet horseshoe magnet is there? So here also the magnetic field is created here. Yes or no? Here also magnetic field is created. Magnetic field is is produced here in the horseshoe magnet. And see here, so this is current carrying conductor. This is connected to the battery. This is both the wires are connected to the battery. From the battery, the electric charges moves from a negative. So it goes like this to the conductor and passes through the rod. This is this, this also conductor only, good conductor. Conductor means what? So it has, means it acts as a uh, conductor here. See, when electricity passes here, here also magnetic field is created around this conductor. See, magnetic magnetic field. What happens here? Here, here force is created. Force is created. Whenever a magnetic, sorry, sorry, whenever a current carrying conductor, this is current carrying conductor, we are keeping this current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. When we are keeping in a magnetic field, here a force is experienced. Which force? So, repulsive force, attractive force. So it will start displacing. Similarly, this rod will start displacing like this. So moment will start attractive. Sometimes it attracts or repels. It depends on poles. It depends on poles. Understood? This is how. Uh, this is how actually it, uh, the principle of uh, motor actually works. See here. So whenever current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field, magnetic field, it experiences a force, attractive or repulsive force. On this principle, actually, the motor works. Motor works. Understood? I hope you understood this concept. If you have any doubt, please ask me now. Have you understood the concept? Children? If you understood the concept, please raise your hand, sir. Yeah. Read the textbook. Read the textbook. So, meeting is going to end now. Within two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Karnaga. All, see, all are replying. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, Rashmi, Aruna, Pratham, Bhatta, Rupa, Siri, Ashwit. Okay, thank you very much. So, if you read a textbook, if you have doubt, uh, if you come across any doubt, please call me. Okay, I will end the meeting. This meeting I will end. So, I will, uh, I will. Uh, I'll send one more meeting, the meeting, I'll launch one more meeting, join with that meeting. We'll uh, see the working of motor. Thank you.